All right, I never thought I'd actually make this video, but it is time to end this once and for all, okay? I'm going to show everybody step by step the exact kanji, the exact meaning of everything in terms of how this works now with no transfer codes around, okay? If you do not see one of these current pictures up on the screen at any time during this video, you have officially broken Dokkan and I have absolutely no idea what you did and I don't think anybody can help you, okay? So, without further ado, let's get into how to connect your accounts, how to unconnect your accounts, and how to transfer over once you have done so. Let's get started. What is going on everyone, Talon back here, and today, like the intro of the video said, we are going straight into everything that is transferring your account, the kanji to know, what to recognize when you see it, let's get started, okay? So, what I have done is I have my iPad right here, you are currently seeing up on the screen, and obviously a better quality picture and everything like that, but... I'm going to show you, again, step by step, exactly what you need to do because I have not linked anything on this current iPad account, okay? So, when you are at the main touch screen, okay? So, I'm, I'm going to actually, you know, before I even do anything, I'm going to break this down into kind of like three sections, okay? The first section is, you have done nothing bad to your account, you have not been transferring it really, you just simply updated the game and you want to link your accounts now, okay? The second is going to be if you want to transfer your accounts or you want to link an account then transfer the account all that kind of fun stuff and the third one is going to be well this guy he's just going to pop up yeah if, if, if you've got something that you are not seeing here i can't help you i really can't okay so if you are seeing this video and you're going Psh, i already know how to do this then i totally understand click off don't don't watch this or what you can do though is go down and hit that share button and share to every single person you know who plays the JP side of the game. And actually, you know what? Even if you play global, this will help you out when things come there because guess what? Your transfer code days are limited. They're going to be going away pretty soon, okay? So whenever that update comes to you guys, that will be happening, okay? So anyway, let's go in to step one, which is, of course, just linking the accounts. This one is simple, simple, very, 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 very simple. But nonetheless, let's get into it, okay? So you've updated the game. We've downloaded everything. And it's just like, okay... You just log in, right? You hit the touch screen, and boom, it's going to load in just like this. And oh my gosh, would you look at that? The game is now just here. No, nothing else, okay? Nothing else. So, anyway, we go into here, all right? And you're thinking to yourself, okay, now what do I do? So, first, you're going to go down here, and you're going to go down to menu, okay? So, hit the menu button. You're going to go to here, which is data and backup boot, okay? So, this used to be where you could go ahead and get your transfer codes when you clicked on it, but that's not the case anymore, okay? So now you've got Facebook, Google, and Game Center if you're on iOS, okay? If you're not, then you're gonna get just simply the Google account and the Facebook. I'm guessing on Android, it might also say, a Go it might still say Game Center, but obviously you're not gonna be able to connect it or anything. Or again, if you have an Apple ID, maybe you can. Again, uh, Android uh, fellas, let me know when it comes to that particular part right there, okay? But anyway, nonetheless, if you wanna update it, all you simply gotta do is Let's say, for example, click on your Google account. It's going to say, hey, do you want to sign with your Google account? Obviously, you would say continue. You would enter your information. And then what's going to happen is a little text above here in between on the Google part of this account right here where my finger's dragging and kind of clicking is going to say this current kanji up on the screen, which just simply means connected. That's all it means. Okay. And if you want to, you can go ahead and do the same for Facebook. It's going to be like, hey, Facebook wants to sign you in. And you're going to be like, okay, boom, do the same thing. Log in. Boom. Hey, you've got two accounts logged in. Completely allowing you to back it up however you want to personally do it. Okay. Now, I'm getting a lot of questions about, hey, I have my global account that is linked to my Facebook. Can I link my JP account to my Facebook as well? Or do I have to link it to Google? Or by linking it to Facebook, does this now override the, the global version of my game? And that thing is officially not connected or anything. I talked to Speedy. I talked with a bunch of other people that, you know, I just wanted to confirm with them and everything like that. To my knowledge, at the time of this recording on uh, December 14th, 2019 at 10.58 p.m. Japan time, 
Yes, you can have the same Facebook account connected to both your JP and your global account if you want to, okay? So obviously right now, global at the time of this recording, you do not have all of these options just yet. You only have the Facebook and the transfer codes. If you have Facebook connected, you can do that with JP still, okay? Or if you really don't feel safe about it, you think for some reason it's gonna twist your account and make it disappear or something like that, which it's not going to. But if you think that way, then just go ahead and do a Google account. Everyone can make a little Google account, no problem. I mean, most people these days have like four to five different Google accounts for different Gmails and things like that, okay? Whether it's professional, personal, you name it. So with that being said, just that's all you have to do in terms of logging in. Nothing else, nothing else is gonna happen there, okay? Now, we're gonna go, and so basically, after that, you're done. You continue to play the game as you usually have on your device, and you're good to go. Now, how do you transfer a device that is linked already to a different device, okay? Obviously, I don't have like an extra phone with me or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna back out here. The bottom part down here says title it modoru, okay? So return to the title. Yes, I wanna return to the title, okay? This is still gonna look the same no matter what devices you're on. Emulator, iPad, iPhone, Android device, you name it, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here, okay? There are the three buttons down here, okay? The left one is simply just checking the news, okay? The support news, that's all it's doing, okay? The middle one is clearing your cache, which is more used to do if maybe your game's lagging for some reason and you just wanna re-download the entire packet of the game essentially. The one on the very far right that has the DL is searching for downloads. If you click it right now, if I click it right now, it's gonna say, hey, you have all your downloads, no problem. You don't have anything new to download. So I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm like, whatever. Final one right here in here is the one you wanna click on, okay? Again, this is on your new device if you wanna transfer it. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to click on whichever account you have linked your, whatever you've linked your Dokkan account to previously. Remember, you had a little text above it. Obviously, there's gonna be no text here and you're going to select that one. You're gonna type in your login information. If you're on a phone, then most likely it's already in there automatically. You hit continue, you allow it to connect with your Dokkan account. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring you back to, it's not gonna take you into the game, it's gonna bring you back to here and then you're gonna have to download it. Okay, just simply hit yes, just hit the green or whatever color it is to you. And then you give you a big download. And then after that, it'll say, hey, you're all done downloading. Take you back to the title one more time. Hit it again. And boom, Bob's your uncle. You're able to get into the game, okay? On your new device. Do keep in mind though, if you're going from iOS to Android, you lose your stones. So either summon or don't transfer yet. Going from Android to Android, you're totally fine and you're 100% 100% good to go, okay? Now, there are a couple of side things that I should also note because I didn't even know that this was even possible to somehow get. Maybe it's if your phone resets for some reason and you have to somehow connect it or collect it again with your data, okay? So Dokkan in a way stores your data of your game on your devices sometimes. I don't exactly know 100% what determines if it does that. I don't know if it's like a hard reset on the phone. It has nothing to do with the app personally in terms of resetting to my personal knowledge. Um, but nonetheless, if you see this first picture showing up in front of you, okay, with these two particular kanji, okay, Atarashi and Suruku, okay? So the first one, okay, the first one where the arrow is pointing right now will say, Atarashiku Hajimeru, which means, do you want to start a new? Or AKA for a game like Dokkan, it's gonna be, hey, do you want to start a new account essentially okay or collect the new data is also what it could mean depending on what you're doing okay if you click the other one which is the uh suzuku kara hajimeru it means continue from where you left off essentially as a very rough translation or aka continue with the data slash account you had before okay once you click, so obviously if you click the Atarashi one, which is the first one I just talked to you about, then you're just starting from fresh, then this doesn't really matter to you. You go back to the beginning of the video and say, okay, this is how I link my account. Boom, I'm done, okay? If you click on the other one that says to continue, you're then going to get a second option, which will be this right here. You're gonna either have Renke Data 
or tamatsu data, okay? So renke means that you are gathering the data from a online an online source, okay? AKA a linked account. Tamatsu data means it is on the device itself. It's searching for the files, the saved data, whatever you want to call it, in the device itself, okay? So obviously, if you have not linked anything yet, then snag the data that is on the device, okay? If you have it linked somewhere else, then click the Renke data, okay? You'll probably be prompted to download it again, and then you got to go through the same thing. It'll, you'll download it, go back to the title again, and then click on it, and you'll be back in the game. No problem, okay? And again, if you're going from iOS to Android or Android to iOS, you will lose your stones. Android to Android, you're fine. Your stones will stay there just perfectly, okay? So now, if you are seeing this guy up on the screen right now, you have officially broken the game, and I have absolutely no idea what you are looking at, okay? All that transfer code stuff is gone now, okay? So everything I just showed you is exactly what you will see no matter what, okay? Just, you, you will be fine, okay? The safest thing to do, log into the game, connect to your account. Just get your account connected before you try transferring over to other devices. You obviously can't anymore because you don't have a download a code, you don't have a code anymore, right? You've got, you've got to link it to something. As long as you can get something linked, your account is safe. Because if you try to ever contact Bandai using their Japanese support system, which again, just use Google Translate to get, just get the basic information they're asking for, the Reddit's had that information up for years. Now they're going to be like, hey, what is your account connected to? You say Facebook or Google. Google and Facebook, they're the same in Japanese and English. You just put them in English, okay? And then they'll be like, okay, cool. Here's your account back, okay? Now, I know their help system can be a little wonky and people have had very mixed reviews when it comes to trying to get their accounts back. So try not to be in that ballpark right there, okay? So I know it seems weird that it's made almost a 13-minute video on how to transfer an account, but with everything going on, I keep getting messages and pics and tweets and everything about how do I do this? What the heck is this? Translate this for me, please. So I wanted to make this video, okay? So if you're somebody who has not had this problem at all, please share this video to every corner of the internet when it comes to Dokkan, okay? And again, if you're on global, this could help you too. Just kind of reminding you as well, okay? If you found this helpful, let me hear your thoughts about it in the comments, okay? And again, if you're seeing this guy up on the screen, this guy right here, I keep forgetting opposite side of the camera, you've doomed your game. I don't know what you did, okay? I personally don't, all right? So. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.